In this video, I'm going to look at the topic called chemical equilibria. So we're going to start off with a standard chemical reaction that we study in AS, and that's the reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric acid. And you can see from the equation, the products are magnesium chloride and hydrogen. The important thing I want to bring out in this equation is the arrow. It's a one direction arrow. And what that means is when one of these reactants runs out, the reaction will stop. If we have a look at this reaction now, so this is the reaction between hydrogen and iodine, and the product is hydrogen iodide. This reaction is actually able to move in the opposite direction. So in other words, the HI, as soon as it's formed, will break up and form hydrogen and iodine. And so we don't use a single direction arrow in this equation. We use the reversible arrow, which is drawn like this. So if we imagine all these gaseous substances inside this sealed container, if we consider the forward reaction first. So we have the H2 molecule reacting with the I2 molecule, making two moles of HI. So H2, I2, and there's two HIs there. So you could say there's the forward reaction. But remember that the HI molecules can also split up. So you could have HIs splitting up into the H2 and the I2. And so therefore, this process never stops. It's a continuous process. So the word that we use in chemistry for that is dynamic. So this is a dynamic process. Now there comes a point where the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. And there's a special name given to that point. That is what we call equilibrium. So when the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction, we say that this is in dynamic equilibrium. Remember, it's a continuous process, the dynamic part. The rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction, and that's the equilibrium part. And the way I sometimes explain it in class is if you imagine a treadmill, with somebody running on the treadmill, you've got a forward process, which is the person running, and then the reverse process is the belt of the treadmill. Now, when they are moving in the same, at the same speed, at the same rate, then effectively the, the runner is running on the spot, so they're not moving forwards or backwards, but they are they're still running, so it's a dynamic process. But because the runner and the belt is at the same rate, it's an equilibrium as well. Another thing to appreciate at equilibrium is that the concentrations of all of the particles, all of the species in the system, will remain constant. And that's because the rate of reaction of H2 and I2 in this example is equal to the rate of decomposition of HI, those two HIs. And so the concentrations of everything will remain constant. The final thing to mention at this point is this, I did say this was a sealed container and that was deliberate. This must be what we call a closed system. 
And what we mean by that is matter, material, can't enter or escape from the vessel. Because if it did, it would ruin the equilibrium. So it must be a closed system. Energy can get in and out, as you're going to see when we look at something called Le Chatelier's principle. Energy can be passed inside and out of the system, but matter can't get in or out. So everything's within this boundary here.